hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have a square minus a cubed is equals to 12 and we solve this problem for the values of a so here you see that this is the cubic equation uh, so it means that this equation has three roots and now here we need to find all that three roots of this equation so here in order to find that three roots we need to focus into the right hand side and here first we break over 12 as in this form this is a square minus a cubed uh, is equals to this is 12 and we write 12 as 8 plus 4 now you see here in the left hand side we have one term is into the square form and one term is into the cubic form so we convert uh, the right hand side into the form of squares and cubed so for this we first write our 8 as 2 cubed and we write 4 as 2 squared and now here we move these two values into the left hand side and it will becomes a square minus a cubed this is positive 2 cubed when we move it into the left hand side it will become the negative 2 cubed this is positive 2 square becomes negative 2 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here uh, we need to make the pair of cubic term with cubic term and square term with square term so first we have a square and we make the pair of a square with minus 2 square from here we first take common negative sign and we get the remaining values are a cubed plus 2 cubed and this whole equation is equals to 0 and here we need uh, there are two nice formulas to solve uh, this equation first we need the uh, square identity and second one we need the cubic formula so here uh, we know about that uh, if we have a square minus b square is equals to a minus b times of a plus b and here we apply the cubic formula and we have a cubed plus b cubed is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square this is the our cubic formula so when we use uh, the square identity on here and cubic on here so after applying the blow both of these formulas to the above equation our above equation is written as first you have a square minus 2 square it will becomes a minus 2 times of a plus 2 and here we apply the cubic formula and it will become first we have a plus b the value of a is a and b is 2 into a square minus a b so this is a and 2 and plus b square so b is 2 square and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here further in the next step uh, you see here both of these terms involve a plus 2 so when we take common a plus 2 we get the remaining values are from here we get a minus 2 and minus from here we get a square minus 2 a plus this 2 square becomes 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so further in the next step we have uh, this is our a plus 2 times of a minus 2 and here we multiply this negative sign on both of these values and it will be written as minus a square and this is minus times minus becomes plus 2a this is minus times 4 becomes minus 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and in the next step we need to divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write a plus 2 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write this is uh, first we write this into the simplified form and we have a plus 2a becomes 3a and this is minus a square and minus 2 minus 4 becomes minus 6 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so we divide this equation into these two cases and from here we easily get the value of a is equals to minus 2 because this is positive into the left hand side when we move it will becomes negative so this is the first value of a which we get here and now you see here this is the quadratic equation but not into the standard form now, so here first we need to write this quadratic equation into the standard form so in order to write this into the standard form uh, we need to multiplying both of the sides by minus one 
So when we multiply both of the sides by minus 1, it will become this is minus a square becomes plus a square. This is uh, plus 3a becomes minus 3a. This is minus 6 becomes plus 6. And this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here uh, we need to uh, write uh, uh, this is the quadratic equation and we know that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation. The first method is factorization method, the second one is completing square and the third one is by applying the quadratic formula. So here we apply the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. For this we first need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1, b is equals to minus 3 and c is equals to 6. So these are the three coefficients of the given equation and we state the quadratic formula as a is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So here we need to uh, substitute the values of a, b and c here. So that when we substitute these values here it will become a is equals to this is minus b. The value of b is minus 3 plus minus square root of b square b is minus 3 square minus 4 times of a c a is 1 and c is 6 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and further in the next step uh, we need more simplification and it will be written as a is equals to this is minus times minus becomes plus 3 and plus minus square root of minus 3 square becomes 9 4 times of 6 becomes minus 24 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. So here when we subtract uh, 9 minus 24, so it will be written as a is equals to 3 plus minus square root of 9 minus 24 becomes minus 15 divided by 2. So here we need to apply the square root separately on both of these values and it will become 3 plus minus square root of 15 into square root of minus 1 divided by 2. And further in the next step we have a is equals to 3 plus minus square root of 15 into here we have square root of minus 1 becomes iota and it is divided by 2. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. So finally we have there are three roots of the given equation and these roots are these the first root, two roots are complex roots and the other roots is real root. So these are the three roots of the given equation and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.